name is Lucas Rodriguez. I'm a brown belt under Guilherme Mendes, but currently training in Sweden with Alan Finfo. I've been training since I was around 10 years old. I started training because my father was an MMA fighter at the time. And because my mom was working during the day, there was nobody to take care of me and my brother. So my dad would take us to the gym. And with the time we started training. Me and my brother were still, were of course, training other martial arts. We did wrestling, we did Muay Thai. But what really kept us like interested was Jiu-Jitsu and boxing. And my dad never forced us, you know, like choose one thing that you want to do or force us to go into MMA. He never even thought about us competing, you know. Uh, what he wanted was to be, to do what we wanted to be happy. 11 years old, 12, 13. I was training a lot of boxing and jiu-jitsu, and I really wanted to do my first boxing match. You know, I really wanted to fight uh, amateur. But the problem was that in my city, we had no competition for kids in boxing. Since I had no choice on doing a, a boxing match, I just stuck with jiu-jitsu. And as I got older, like I remember when I was 15, 16, I was competing a lot of jiu-jitsu already and I, have, I had won like major titles in Brazil and I still had this in my, in my head that I wanted to do a boxing match but every time I would start training for, a, for that, that would be an, a new BJJ tournament because we had a lot of tournaments in Brazil, in my city as well and me and my brother would always travel to compete in jiu-jitsu so just because we had more competition in jiu-jitsu, I, I end up letting boxing away. Especially because of the environment that I am now and because of the way the world is nowadays. You know, we don't have no BJJ tournaments here in Europe, the USA is closed. So I'm stuck in this situation where I want to be able to compete, but I don't have what I, what I need to, you know, go to USA and compete over there. And since I don't have the opportunity to be there now and I don't know when I will be able to, maybe I'm, I'm, I might try some MMA fights. I don't really know why. I think just the, the drive to keep winning, you know, because since we were very young, me and my brother, we, we lost our first tournament, but all, all of them after that, we had good results, you know. Uh, I managed to win a lot of big tournaments in Brazil at a very young age, and I always had this in my mind that I don't want to be like average in something. I always wanted to be the best. So 2016, I went to Nogi Words, and that's how I met Alan Finfo. We were training, doing the training camp for, for Nogi Words. He invited me to come to Sweden and train with him for a while, and so I was training with him for around three months. And that's how I met my wife. My wife was a white belt at the time, also one of his students. And we started dating. I started competing here in around Europe. I competed in Sweden, Finland, and Rome as well. And then after that, that's when I got invited to go to AOJ. So that's when I, I asked Alan if it would be okay, you know, because Alan was the, the first person that ever gave me an opportunity to leave Brazil and only train, you know. So I didn't want it to be like ungrateful or just leave him. So I had a long talk with him and he told me one thing that, that really marked me until today. He told me that 
the people that really want your well-being or care for you, they don't care where you are or what you fight for. They only care how good you feel. Alan told me that I should go, that I shouldn't look back. And he had me as a friend, you know, so he gave me the opportunity to be here and also be in USA, train under Guillermo and Rafa, train um, and fight for them. But at the same time, have my, my safe place here where I could always come back. And that's what I'm doing today. First training of the week, have two more to go today and the whole week of hard work. Let's go. Almost lost my, my leg now, but I'm all good. How's it like training with your It's it's like fighting every day. No way. The intensity of the training is always really high. It's always like the, the final fight of words. Always high intensity, you cannot do one mistake. If you do one mistake in the beginning of the fight or in the end, you lost. So it is really good. I, I really enjoy the experience of being here. It, it really emulates the, a little bit of the pressure of competing, you know, because you don't want to do any mistake. You really want to keep everything tight. It's exactly like fighting. So. Even though we have no competition, it's been almost a year without competing. Being here and training here, it, it keeps me sharp. Well, I think the best thing that, that happened to me was start training Jiu Jitsu. You know, the, the life that Jiu Jitsu gave me, how much I've learned, the amount of people I've met, and the experience this type of life brought me. You know, Today, I don't see myself doing anything else than this. You know? Of course, I. I have some thoughts of, of doing MMA, but the lifestyle of, a, of an athlete, I can't live without it. So, just I'm just really thankful for everything that has happened and is about to happen in my life.